Hey slots enthusiasts, did you know that many of the original Liberty Bell slot machines were destroyed during the San Francisco earthquake? That's coming up. Hi, my name is John Friedel. Welcome to Professor Slots, a channel that's all about mastering casino slots so you can win your way to success. If you've ever walked into a casino, looked around and wondered what's going on with slots, I can help. Why do slot machines say bar on their reels? Well, to understand why this tradition came to be, we'll have to delve into slot machine history. Originally, these gambling devices weren't truly slot machines because they could only accept coins but not automatically dispense them as a prize. These early gambling machines did have a lever for making a bet, so in America, players called them one-armed bandits, and later in Great Britain, fruit machines. Australia called them pokies. All three countries still sometimes call them these early names. Nowadays, pulling a handle or pushing a button activates an electromechanical gaming machine. This happens after inserting coins, tokens, cash, or casino credits. Subsequently, reels with symbols begin to spin. When done, the symbols shown lined up along pay lines determine the payout, if any. Real symbols are often traditional, including stars, bars, numbers, and various pictured fruits. Fruits can include cherries, plums, oranges, lemons, and watermelons. The number seven is also very popular. And finally, there are the bar real symbols. Card suits and a Liberty Bell image were the original real symbols in slot machines. In 1909, fruit real symbols by the Industry Novelty Company followed. In 1910, the Mills Novelty Company of Chicago, recently inherited by Herbert Stephen Mills, also started using fruit symbols, but their reels had the addition of the company logo. Slot machines have a rich history. Within gaming device circles of the time, it was well known that Charles Augustus Fay of San Francisco refused to sell or lease the design of his first coin operated slot machine, the Liberty Bell, which he invented around 1887. So how did Mills get the design from Fay? There are two theories. First, that Fay cooperated with Mills to spread the use of slot machines. After all, Fay is known as the father of slots, both for his invention of the coin-operated device as well as popularizing its use. The second theory is Mills somehow obtained a Liberty Bell from a San Francisco saloon robbery in 1905. Less than a year later, Mills produced a new version of the Liberty Bell called either the Mills Liberty Bell or Operator Bell. During my review of the history of early slot machines, there are also suggestions the bar symbol may have another origin story. It is generally accepted that the bar symbol is a stylized image of a chewing gum pack photograph, possibly the Mills Company logo. According to some historical sources, however, the company having that logo may have been the Bell Gum Fruit Company. From the early days of slot machines, there are a few other interesting historical items of interest. In 1916, another historic slot machine innovation created by the Mills Novelty Company was the jackpot. When a specific combination of real symbols resulted from a bet, the slot machine would empty its coin house of all coins as a prize. Mills Novelty would later go on to produce slot machines with wooden cabinets rather than the original cast iron construction materials. Photos of antique slot machines are online at the Cypress Casino Consultant, the International Arcade Museum, and elsewhere. I especially enjoyed photos of antique slot machines in my copy of Slot Machines, a pictorial history of the first 100 years by Marshall Fay, grandson of the father of slot machines, Charles Fay. The Cypress Casino Consultant website shows four slot machines on a waist-high countertop. They appear to have wooden cabinets and are each perhaps 30 inches high by 18 inches wide. In metric, that's about 76 centimeters by 46 centimeters. Each slot machine is of the one-armed bandit variety, meaning players first inserted a coin and then pulled a large lever on the right side of the machine. Each of these models appear to accept coins at the top as well as dispense coins for winners at the bottom. The Casino Observer website, now defunct, used to show four slot machines. Two of these machines are some of the first slot machines from around 1890, while two others are more recent, approximately the 1940s. 
The two older slot machines receive coins, but only the poker machine appears to not be able to dispense coins. This poker machine has typical card suits as real symbols in a cast metal type cabinet. It appears to be missing its one-arm bandit lever, perhaps due to damage or it never had a lever. One older slot machine with coin dispenser capability is clearly identified as a Liberty Bell. It rests on cast feet located on each corner. The real symbols show three Liberty Bells, but its pay table shows card suits not fruits or bars. The International Arcade Museum website shows a single slot machine. It's a very old slot machine showing the symbol of the Liberty Bell on its front next to three reels showing Liberty Bell, bar, and fruit reel symbols. This is probably a Liberty Bell by Charles Fay, but must be a slightly later version due to its having obvious fruit and bar real symbols. It also has a cast metal type cabinet and the distinctive feet of a Liberty Bell. It also has a small tray for coins, suggesting it has automatic payouts. Charles Fay manufactured about 100 Liberty Bell slot machines for distribution in and around San Francisco. However, there are few of them remaining in existence. The scarcity of Fay's Liberty Bell is a direct result of a natural disaster occurring shortly after the manufacturer, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Comment below if you've ever seen an antique slot machine. Be sure to share how old it was. Stick around for more videos on the rich history of slot machines. Have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye.